Tonight, a grieving mum's anguish as an evil child killer is sent to die in jail. A grandfather stabbed to death in a mosque rampage. A thousand workers axed with Qantas facing a $300 million nosedive. Truck drivers trapped in a deadly highway inferno. And Melbourne shivers as a wintry blast wreaks havoc. This is Nine News with Tony Jones. Good evening. Bega schoolgirl killer Leslie Camilleri, who's already serving two life terms, has been jailed for another 28 years for the murder of missing 13-year-old Prue Bird. Her mother says she prays she'll one day know just what happened to her daughter. Karen Huff was in court. 43-year-old Leslie Alfred Camilleri, notorious for the depraved killings of two Bega schoolgirls, now locked away for the murder... But now that she's left him, she says she's totally drug-free. Peter Stefanovic, Nine News, London. In the news ahead, fair evaders caught in an early morning sting. The surgery-free treatment easing the trauma of breast cancer. And a Google-eyed motorist caught behind the wheel. Fair evaders were caught out in Southbank this morning as ticket inspectors launched a high visibility crackdown. Nine people were discovered travelling without a valid ticket, with some fined $212. Survey results show a spike in fare cheats, with nearly 12% of passengers enjoying a free ride, up from 9.4% last year. Breast cancer patients with large lumps are avoiding having to go through invasive surgery by choosing to have chemotherapy first. Doctors say the treatment regime is offering many women a brighter outlook. Gabriella Rogers with the story. This cancerous lump is nearly the size of a golf ball, measuring about three centimetres. Emails Six... and even videos wasn't switched on at the time. Well, always switched on with sport is Clint Stanaway. Thanks very much, Tony. Tonight, a real struggle developing in Adelaide, but the Aussies, they still have a few tricks up their sleeve. Also, Suarez nets four while United crumble. And Tex lays a tackle on his old mate. This sports report brought to you by KFC. Sweet Sesame Crunch is back. Come in and try a piece today. So good. Good evening, Australia has made a solid start to the second test after a topsy-turvy opening day in Adelaide. Chris Rogers led the charge with 72, George Bailey, Shane Watson and the skipper also in the runs as the home side crept to 5 for 273 at Stumps. Corey Norris reports. A historic day for Adelaide as its once humble ground was launched as a world-class stadium and as expected, not a spare seat in the house to witness the next chapter in this... 5-1 thrashing of Norwich. Not bad at all. From mm. Suarez. That's he's, sport. He's a beauty, isn't he? Good on you, Clint. Thanks for that. Now, Bex, along with the weather, I, I, I've heard of Christmas in July, but this is more like July and Christmas. Oh, yeah, exactly, Tony. Today was no warmer than 16.8 degrees, and that's made it our coldest December day in seven years. In fact, the last time it was colder than this was on Christmas Day 2006. That was icy cold with a top of just 14.5, but there was also a day of 42 degree heat around that time as well. Good old Melbourne. I'll have the full forecast next. Good evening. Well, there wasn't any more rain overnight and the cloud broke up. So this morning we saw blue sky across Melbourne, but we knew it wasn't going to last long. The cloud and showers rolled in after lunch. Our low was 11 and our top just 17. The showers tracked across with the fresh southwesterlies. They are rain easy in now. the morning. A shower to Tuesday. Fine Wednesday and Thursday. So, Tony, I am looking forward to the weekend. I bet you are. We all are. Good on you, Beck. Thanks very much for that. That's our news for now. Tracy's up next with A Current Affair. Have yourself a great evening and good night.